Hey guys, Ember from The Vault here. Welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod. Now guys, this one is Shopping Carts Vendors. This allows you to use these shopping carts as your vendors instead of using the, uh, the big annoying, if you ask me, the big annoying outdoor shops or the big annoying counters. So this is going to give you another option in game. We'll go ahead and check it out. I'll assign somebody to it, see how it works, and we'll see how it looks in game. All right, guys, so here we are inside the Fallout studio where I like to build all of my random furniture. We're going to go ahead and check out these carts. Now, you can see here I have a cart that is fully finished. The reason I built this inside the studio and not outside on the ground is because you need to have the cart completely flat. Otherwise, this doesn't work. So, again, starting from our original menu, this is from the first menu that pops up. This is not under Unlock Settlement Objects. Do not click USO Integrated. Go under Shops. You can go ahead and from there and then click around. So, we're going to go to the Weapon shop. Ignore. I have lots of different stuff installed, so ignore some of this. We're going to go ahead and go to the Weapons Emporium. We're going to place that. Let's also place uh, the smaller Weapons Emporium. Now, this is where you can go ahead and kind of put these on top. These are the clutter pieces. You can have different pieces of clutter depending on what you're looking for. So, let's go ahead and put this one on. So it gives you a little bit of a customization option. You can put some different stuff on here. You can make it look however you want. Let's go ahead and put this one on here. Again, though, you need to be on a flat surface. If you're not on a flat surface, uh, basically all the way flat on the ground, or if you're not 100% flat uh, somewhere out in, the, uh, out in the world, you're going to have issues with things not lining up properly. So... Let me go ahead and come over here, trying to line these up. Again, this is really going to be a pain in the ass for you if you're not 100% flat. Things are not going to fit normal. So if we look at it now, we've got things that actually fit here. So let me show you if we did it outside. Let's go ahead and jump down here. Yep, I'm going to experience a little bit of pain there, but that's all right with me. So I have an area here that I wouldn't say is 100% is flat, but it's relatively flat. If we take this outside and we try to build on it here, you're going to see that things aren't quite fitting in properly. You're going to get a little bit of a height difference. So here you can see it doesn't, it's not really placed properly inside of there. So if we take this and move around, let's go ahead and run over here. You can see I got some floating building problems going on here at this settlement. I'm still rebuilding this one run into my store over here. Oh, if I can get Lily out of the way. Lily! Lily! You're not invited. Okay, instead, let's run over here to the, the uh, shack. So if we put this down again, we're going to have this flat floor here. Let's see if we can get it to place. There we go. So difference in it being on top of a floor and it being outside. If you want to go ahead and move it then at that point, the only thing I can suggest, one thing I've, I've kind of ha had a problem with with this one, is if you want to move it outside then it's going to be a little bit difficult because you can't select the whole thing to move it. They don't lock them together, that's just not how the game works. So you might have to use those inside or use them outside if you build some type of some type of a elevated platform maybe if you're interested in doing that. So let's go ahead and put down, let's open structures, wood, put down a random floor. Now if we go ahead and pull that cart back out, what I've been trying to do is see if we could maybe move it all with a rug glitch. So let's go inside of USO. Let's go inside of the rug glitch here. Glitch tools. This might be an option. I'm not entirely sure it's going to work. I'm trying it first time on camera. I figured I'd actually show you guys the process of me trying to figure this all out. Let's go ahead and put that up. Put this on top. All right, well, now I'm experiencing a problem with it not wanting to go on top. So let's go ahead and use this one. This one will go. And then let's move the rug. So this might be an option for if you want to go ahead and put this out in the world. If you use one of the glitch rugs, again, that's under Unlock Settlement Objects. I've tried doing that. I'm sure I've, I'm going to hear this from somebody. If you hold down uh, your place, if you hold down... X, you're going to pick up everything. I tried doing that with this, but unfortunately it doesn't select every part of the cart. So I would probably suggest you doing this on the invisible rug. Seems to work pretty well. It seems I can still place it anywhere I want. It doesn't look like it's floating in the world, so that actually works pretty well. But all in all, it's actually a really helpful, uh, it's really helpful. I actually really like it. So we're going to go ahead and assign this guy to it, see how it goes. All right, Lucas. 
So it is a nice little option if you don't want to have your typical uh, stores, if you don't want to have those stores that are in the game. Also, I use the store rugs. You can see here I use the invisible store rugs. If that's something you're not interested in, though, this just gives you another option. You could also be, maybe make your own carnival. I think that would actually be kind of cool. You can go ahead and kind of move stuff around, kind of make something different, kind of make something unique. So I think that's a really cool idea. I really like this. I'm actually a big fan of this uh, of this cart. Again, as far as a downloader, or don't, that's going to be entirely up to you guys whether you're interested in having this or not in your settlement. Personally, it works pretty well for me. I think the animation of him just drinking coffee there works pretty well, so it's up to you guys. But if you want to download this one, the mod is in the description. Again, this is going to be for PS4. I've had a couple of people show interest in seeing if they could get these things on Xbox and PC. Go ahead and Google for those. I'm not going to be able to tell you. I do these specifically for PS4, so those are the links that I give in the description. So go ahead and click that, though, if you're on PS4. PS4. Otherwise, give it a Google. I really like this one. If you like this video, though, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me. Helps other people, of course, find the videos. Huge motivation to keep going forward. And it also tells me, guys, what you're interested in seeing. It really does mean a lot. Also, guys, if you want, you can check out some of my other Fallout 4 videos. Go ahead and click on that uh, link over in the corner there. It should have a link to a playlist of all of my Fallout 4 videos, as well as a video that YouTube thinks you'd like based on your history. Also, there should be a picture of my big dumb face. Click that, you'll subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.